This is a Swedish military Volvo van. I'll tell you a bit more about it later. The important part is we're taking it out off-roading. It is wet, foggy, cold, and we're going to have a blast. My name is Sean, and this is the story till now. Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. Also by White Rock Dodge. And in part by. What's up, guys? Hope you're having a good week. Welcome back. We're going to need some storage on top of the truck. We need a rack. We've been needing more storage on the Gladiator for a while now. So that's what we're doing today. We have the first in Canada Rhino Rack backbone system with tray. Uh, for the Jeep Gladiator. So that's pretty cool. Let's get that installed. This thing is crazy. We're gonna have to take a look at that later. Have holes in the hard top. There is no turning back. That's a big hole. We have a bracket, which is this guy here, which literally sits on the bottom of the inside layer of the top and attaches to the roll bar. And that's how you get your support. Basically, these little red tabs, you can push them in, like so, front and back, and then your tray comes off the vehicle. Just that easy, you're left with those little pods there. All right guys, we just got to the trailhead and we have a special truck with us today. This is a, uh, you know what? I don't even know what this is. <laughs> this is a 1975 Volvo C303. So Swedish military, uh, basically the Swedish version of a Unimog. So we're gonna go see what it can do. So it's got portal axles on it, uh, which is what gives it its height and clearance. We put some modern tires on it rather than the military. Obviously our roof racks, but otherwise that's how she comes. Nothing but Got the bus steering wheel. Yeah, so this was a, a military vehicle, and you know how you can tell is if you uh, you open up the back, it looks like there'd be army troopers in here. So the motor starts right at the front wheels here. This is the doghouse entry, and when you're in the back there, you have the full back of the motor, so it's almost a mid-engine sports car. All right, so we're gonna take this thing out on the trail, of course, along with the trail wrecker, and uh, see what, see what this thing can do. We're headed for a small lake up in the mountains as our first stop. I'm not really sure what road conditions will be like since it's been snowing a lot lately. Some people got a good hand Never wondering if they can But I've been fighting what I'm feeling Needing something to believe in Oh, lift me up, lift me up from the valley Oh, lift me up, lift me up from the stone Right away, we're getting into some foggy conditions. Not too 
far up the mountain, we get into some snow, but it's not deep and doesn't cause any issues for us. you can tell but the lake is frozen we are at a lake it just looks like a big gray blog on the camera all right we just got down to the lake which is frozen and uh, there's a little bit of a loop here so we're gonna wheel our way around park maybe chill here at the lake for a bit before we carry on Uh, that was a shock mount, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I gotta say, this Volvo is kind of impressive for how much of a square box it is. After a quick lunch break, we decided to move on. here for lunch. It's a nice little trail down from the lake. Get out of some of this fog because it's gross. And uh, I saw some blue skies so maybe we can get down to some of that.
having a cranky transmission that does not stay in reverse unless you hold it. <laughs> and, uh, and both my mirrors hold in, so I couldn't see where I was going. Made that backup a little difficult. <laughs> Almost did it again. <laughs> yeah, the backup looked fun. Yeah, exactly. You were three wheeling there for a sec. <laughs> the trail from this point was skinny and overgrown. It's just one of those trails you have to push your way through and take your scars. A forest fire ripped through this mountain a few years back, which is why a lot of the trees are black and the leaves look like ash. We'd follow a raging creek down the rocky trail to a lakeside beach. Doors open. Whoops! Whoops! That was on a trail, right? <laughs> I love these kind of trail conditions where the water is overflowing from nearby streams and exposing all of the rocks.
impressed with this Volvo. Thing's nuts. From here, we could see the lake, and before long, we were driving on the beach. down to the beach fun little drive man this thing is crazy I can't believe how good this thing does it's so tall and it's like a, a van but this thing can go pretty much anywhere it's pretty awesome so, happy with how this thing did you always. wielded a lot though right because I have wielded a number of times yep yep Sam seems to uh, always get us through every time I throw an obstacle at it it's kind of like no problem let's get this done nice yeah it was fun all right, guys, that's probably going to be it for this video. We're going to head back home and maybe we'll have some lunch, some of that stuff, hang out. Could be a little nicer out here on the beach, but I do see some blue sky looking like it might poke through for us. So we're just going to enjoy the rest of the day, and I'll catch you next week. Thanks for watching, guys. We have T-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and more available at DirtyAndDangerous.com. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next week.